Yeah, I mean, Rome is, uh, uh, they are synonymous with, uh, ancient Rome is synonymous with Western civilization, and uh, it's something that their, uh, their, their, po- their politics, their, um, their politics, their language, their culture, um, we still actively interact with, uh, we, we interact every day with vestiges of, of Rome um, that exists here in the States. Um, you know, the, the concept of Western civilization that began with the Hellenics, which were the Romans and the Greeks, um, you know, with Christianity and that proliferation, proliferation of Roman Catholicism. A lot of, there's a lot of Roman culture all throughout Europe, they have a lot of ways of expressing language. I mean, French, Spanish, uh, Italian, the list goes on. Um, tons, tons of, um, Languages in Western Europe draw their um, root 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 language back to um, to uh, Roman Latin. Um, the the our politics are structured. Um, you know, our democracies are structured like how theirs are. They were written in Latin one too. There is a you know, democracy. There's a lot of similarities. Um, the structure of their society, the structure of uh, their military. Stuff like that. I mean, the, 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 you can really, I mean, you can see it. I mean, even in architecture. I mean, you go to downtown Albany. You go to the, go to the Capitol building. Just the, that whole thing is full of, of, of Gothic and Roman architecture. So that's something that like, you can observe it. I mean, even in our state building. Like, it's just that pervasive. Um, they, there's, they, they're called Roman columns for a reason. So, interesting. Yeah, so definitely there's a, there's a lasting impact. Step, the, the Empire and the Republic spent more time at war than they did at peace. And you can see that, you can see the comparison in the States today. So, but, um, at least in the last hundred years. So, um, I would just like to say that I think that's what they were. I mean, they were, uh, they revolutionized um, infantry, foot infantry combat, like ar- army combat. Um, they, uh, they because of, they had a bit of a, um, a, a the indomitable Roman spirit, the uh, they were very proud people. They were very hard to keep down. Um, so a lot of times they lose, and they come back with they come back stronger. And they'd have they'd have siege weapons. They you know they they come back with with new stuff. Like the Romans, their tactics um, were built upon and built upon as like the, as as the years went by. Uh, the, the, you have the Roman phalanx, which is like a fit, it was also called fish scale formation, where the shields lock next to each other and above. So you have people all around, you're protected from arrows, and you can walk as a unit safely through the, uh, a battlefield. You open up your spears, you can keep a distance. Um, well, warfare changed. Um, the advent of horses, the advent of, uh, of bigger battles, um, bigger foes. Um, so they, the Romans, and um, used war to their own advantage. See how their enemy fights. If their enemy had to beat them, they would. Uh, they, they, they. Sometimes they copy something from the enemy and then and, and do it better, or they would um, find like out, outthink them. You know, they often like Julius Caesar. I believe was like he built he built like uh, he was he built a siege. Julius Caesar actually, um, but there was a siege. So they just built a wall in, in, between, uh, 
between them and the, the, the cities behind them. They're here, and they built a wall between their enemy, like as they're crouching, essentially. The Romans were um, very were known for quick construction. They could, like their armies would, would build siege machines, like like that had nothing. Um, uh, just stuff they found around in the area. Um, the the during the um, Punic Wars, um, the Carthage was the main dominant uh, force on the, the Mediterranean Sea. specific mixture of lye and uh, a bunch of other stuff. It was the lye that was, the lime, lime that was important. Basically, their concrete was known as what is known as self-healing concrete. So heat, I mean, it gets hot, it gets cold, the stone shrinks and contracts, and then water gets into it, and the water expands and cracks the stone. Well, that water then dissolves the lime that's scattered throughout the concrete, which then starts another the same chemical reaction that happened when they mixed the concrete. Then fill in the crack. So that's why stuff like the Colosseum, the aqueducts, uh, Hadrian's Wall, why that's all still standing wow. 2,000 years later. Because they, they like, out some Roman alchemist in like some dingy lab of underground, like, cooked that up and went and showed a general and it was one thing and then that was it, you know? And, but they, they were innovators. They were innovators. They, would, they innovated out of spite. They innovated for their own personal gain. They, but they were really good at innovating. Find a way to screw you. They would. So that was that was pretty interesting. Yeah, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. So what would you say would be some sort of chemical change that you would you would like to have done outside of the wall? Like you know, I don't know, something really useful like that. Like you know, like like that concrete or like it added to the underground wall. Well, they were uh, Rome fell. Uh, Rome was split in two halves by the end of its time. If we're being, a lot of bit, by, students of the Byzantium argue that Byzantium is, is Rome, that Rome lasted for thousands of years. And they see it, but it doesn't matter, I think. But um, Western Rome, which is the Rome that you and I are thinking of right now, fell to the, uh, they fell to the barbarian, a barbarian tribe. Bloated in size, far too big to manage. That's why they split it in half and gave it two members, because it was too big to manage. Um, corruption. Politicians were just so corrupt. Military politicians were all just so corrupt. Um, they were The outsourcing of labor to mercenary groups in the army, um, instead of having um, native Roman sort of citizens of the empire fighting, it ended up being mostly mercenary force, which is truth one problematic when, you're, when your defense force swayed by more coin than what you can offer. It's very problematic and you see a lot of flip-flopping going on. But yeah, 
Rome, Rome was sacked, and um, it, it fell. It fell bad, um, and it, the entire Western Europe suffered for it. For the, the entire entire Dark Ages, like four hundred or thousand AD or later, they they suffered for it. Um, but uh, what was the question again? I wanted to set that precedent. To speculate on what could have been, I think you could spend your entire life speculating on what could have been. Um, but Rome, had they survived, um, had they somehow come out of it and, and strengthened their uh, their federal government um, and their military force and kind of purged the corruption, if they were even capable of doing that, then I mean, I'd wager Byzantium probably would have been reclaimed. Um, you probably there would be there would have been no. Um, Byzantine Empire, and I think Islam would have come like it does. The uh, constant joke of the unstoppable tide of Islam, it would have come. They would have had a very rough time fighting those things um, because Christianity immediately stabilized the entire empire. Um, and I guess the Eastern Church, these are the, the Muslim Crusaders. Fought a lot of wars. They fought a lot of wars. They, the Romans would have had, definitely had their their uh, their their would have been would have had a rough time fighting those things. Um, we've been there. Um, I have uh, been to Roman um, buildings and stuff. I went to uh, I was in Britain and Britain was um, I saw um, a bunch of stuff that Hadrian built. Who uh, he, he did he Hadrian built a wall. Because he, he saw the Celts, who were like a notoriously terrifying military force. Like, they, they, in the dead of night, they'd come and they'd all throw, the throats of everybody you know was cut, nobody even woke up. Um, the Celts were terrifying. 